Brussels, President Trump heads to a NATO summit in Brussels on Wednesday with one key talking point, allies need to pay up on their defense spending commitments. The concern I have is that, 2%, has become a bumper sticker which sort of amplifies the transactional approach of this administration, said Douglas Lute, a retired three-star army general who as U.S. ambassador to NATO was President Barack Obama's main advocate of the pledge inside the alliance. Ahead of summit, allies wonder if NATO will survive Trump. President Trump has regularly complained that U.S. allies in NATO are underspending on defense. U.S. defense spending amounted to 68.7 percent of the NATO total last year, reflecting the United States' global ambitions and 3.57 percent of its GDP. Not fair to the U.S. taxpayer, Trump takes another shot at NATO. Trump officials say the president has needed to use harsh language to jolt NATO out of complacency and scare allies into devoting more money toward defense.